This is Rap the News. Before we get into our topic, I wanted to address a couple of people in the comments. Dina Yasharel wrote, Thank you for your persistence. My understanding was opened in August 2020 with your repetition. She writes, Deuteronomy 4.35, English Standard Version. To you it was shown that you might know that the Lord is God. There is no other. There is no other Lord. There is no other God. And so we have 4.3 billion Christians who was not shown this. Who was shown this? You was, this handful of people that they call nuts because your eyes are open. Right? That they stop associating with you because your eyes are open. And the devil got their eyes closed wide shut, huh? Wide shut. To you it was shown. 4.3 billion Christians are blind. It was not shown to them that you, you handful of people, you remnant, might know that the Lord is God. Not Christ. God. There is no other. Right. Awesome. Awesome comment. Spencer Davis writes, Thanks and praises be to the Most High, living God of Israel. Him alone will I serve. Brother Rep, thanks for opening my eyes three years back. All praises to the Most High God. Shalom. And so, he left a message inside this message. And it said, the living God of Israel. You got to think about that. Because they are serving what? Christ, who is what? The first begotten of the dead. And God said what? We don't hear the dead. We hear the living. God is not the God of the dead, but the God of the living. But they are worshiping what? The first begotten of the dead. And Brother Spencer and all of us is worshiping who? The living God. Because we are the living, right? And we are wrote in the book of the living. Awesome comment. Awakened and informed writes, God, the only one most high, bless you and your house. Also, all men born of God. I just lost my mother and my heart is broken. I've been a subscriber for a long time now. You have changed my life with the truth. I have turned my life around and I would like to thank you as no one else is doing what you are. I've been trying to tell people the truth, but they think I'm nuts. But that's okay. I know now it's true. What's really doing my nuts, my nut in my, is my mammy. I've been laid to rest or my mother has been laid to rest on Thursday and I don't want to put a step inside a church. I don't know what to do. So even if you have to do it by a church, you have to be the person ministering, not them. Because you know the truth and they will be lying during your mom's funeral and you don't want that. God don't want that and your mother don't want that and so you have done your mother an honor and I'm going to show you why God said you shall know them and that's your mom by their fruits you are your mother's pride and glory and you are her first fruits a good tree a bad tree don't produce good fruit if you are believing in God and that's what you wrote the only one most high you are a good fruit and you are your mother's good fruit and maybe you might be the only one and so your mother's tree have produced good fruit in the eyesight of the most high God and so you have become a blessing in life and death 
for your mother. With that said, let's get into our topic, unworthy. And that's unworthy God. Question, who is Jesus in the Bible? They say he's God. They say he's the son of God, right? And they say he's the son of man, right? If he is God, then why is God coming to destroy the Gentiles, the sinners, and the ungodly, and the prideful off of this earth, and he coming to save them? Somebody lying on. So you got one person coming to save the ungodly. You got another Christ just coming to the lost sheep of the, the house of Israel, right? One is obeying the Most High God, doing the laws, and the other one is just doing itself, right? And just like I said, and you got 14, uh, 4.3 billion Christians that's deceived. The Bible claims Jesus is in fact God. Would, would God say he the son of man? God said he is not the, a man or the son of man. Right? Then we know he ain't God. But this book is saying what? He got in three different verses right here. John 1 18. No one has ever seen God but the one and only son who is himself God. The one and only son is the son and himself God so he's seen himself was he looking in the mirror he was taking a selfie this totally don't make sense huh and there's different translations if you look at all the translations are pretty much different John 1 number 1 in the beginning was the word they saying Christ is the word and he was there in the beginning before God and the word was with God showing you that it's two different entities and then the word was God Trying to take two entities and make it into one. Why they saying three bear record, right? The, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. If why are you mention the Father first and, and then in here you're mentioning Christ first. Right? He was with God and he is God. God was with himself. God was praying to himself. God was saying, worship one part of me. Uh, y y this is how you pray. Our Father was in, is in heaven. So God is telling himself to say, this is how we pray. We pray to ourselves. Some insanity, man. Looking for that blessed hope, Titus 2.13. The appearing of, in, of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus. So we know that's blasphemy. But yet, 4.3 billion Christians believe in that blasphemy. Then the Bible states Jesus is not God. Let's get into that. John 17, 3. Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God. And Jesus Christ, and is an addition, whom God have sent. How can God send himself? And then his self say, well, the one that sent me is the only true God. Then is this God that's talking right here about our God? Is he worthy to be worshipped? John 5, 44. You like to receive praise from one another. I don't. All praise is due to the most high God. But you do not try to win praise from the one who alone is God. There is no other God. So Christ is saying in both of these verses, there's only one true God, and that God is alone. How then can you believe me then? And it's a separate, it's, it's a separation between him and the one true God, right? The God that is alone. John 14:1. Do not let your heart be troubled, afraid, cowardly. Believe confidently in God. Did he say me? And trust in him. Did he say me? He said God first, right? So he's making a separation between him and God in all three verses. Have faith, hold on to it, rely on to it, keep going, and believe me also. 
also mean an addition again right and Jesus Christ mean an addition right so if I'm saying the lemon and the orange it don't make the orange the lemon let's keep going then the Bible proves he is an unworthy God the first one is he goes up to a fig tree and he don't know the time or season of the fig and he's supposed to be God would that be a worthy God to follow in Matthew 24 36 he don't know the day or the hour not the angels not no man not the Son but God alone should you be worshiping a God don't don't even know when he's supposed to return mark 5 25 and the woman touched him bleeding and he lost all his power would you worship a God who has no power and he turned around to the crowd and asked who touched my clothes in other verses it said he read people's minds you mean to tell me you worshiping a God who loses his power and don't know who touched him he don't know the season he don't know the hour what the hell do he know did he even know he got because obviously he don't because he's telling you in Matthew and Mark to serve and worship God alone he telling you right here to serve and worship God alone right so the God that y'all worshiping is unworthy the son that y'all worshiping is unworthy that's called idolatry second Samuel 22 4 I will call on the Lord who is worthy to be praised so shall I be saved from my enemies right and so again you should call on the God who is worthy to be praised because a God that don't know the seasons the hour the date or his ass from his shoulders is not worthy to be worshipped. This is Rap the News.